they'll be calling you a radical. I want to talk about our walk Saturday on the 14th, the pre-walks. They've been organized country. The, my post-ignorance walk in Manhattan on the 28th. I want to talk about Fukushima. I want to talk about American culture. I want to talk about real movements that really work. I want to talk about ideas and things that work in detail. My little movement isn't Da, 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 da. We hate all these. We hate Wall Street. We hate them. We hate them. We hate them. The Illuminati. We fucking hate them. We're not crutches. My movement is about education, about hard work, about the fucking journey. These things take work. Like everything in America has ever stood for, well, did until it was hijacked 30 years ago. We've had regressive wages for 40 years. And I will simply say this these shirts that I made three years ago, my PhD, science fiction economics, dot-com bubble, housing bubble, hope bubble, travel Fukushima, yeah, and I spelled there that for a reason, there, so there, they're not made in a Bangladesh factor with blood all over their money, they're made in Manhattan, they're American made that, yeah, they cost a little bit more, but they last ten times longer. They're nice. The garment just, that's why we're going there. Look, I hate, I love all you, but we hate Wall Street. Wall Street's what made America this freaking beacon, great, powerful, amazing place that it was. It's the people who hijacked Wall Street. Hedge funds have been around. Read East of Eden at the end when he freaking makes the score. Look. They weren't hedge funds. It was the hijacking, just like it. The hairsprayed CNBC. Oh, really? CNBC is evil. They are evil. CNN is evil. Think about CNN. If you don't think CNN is purely a propaganda machine for General Electric, they are talking about airing Pandora's Promise, the biggest piece of filth propaganda piece of junk I ever fucking saw. Now, how CNN going to air a movie? Think about that. Has CNN ever aired any movie? Hell no. They're going to air Pandora. So if this isn't so blatant in your face, we're going to go there. I have answers. That's why we're going down to see Hamilton's grave. Hamilton had two things. Jefferson, Washington. Washington was so brilliant, he had two things, Hamilton. He had logic and he had righteousness. Just like all the great leaders, just like John Kennedy did, just like Martin Luther did, just like Bobby did, as we grew up and they were all killed when we were young. Remember this. This is a fact. Read about Hamilton's son. Hamilton missed on purpose because he believed that life was a test. And he believed that that's what this was. And he believed that his soul was going to take the next place. So do I. You know... Maybe I didn't believe it so much until I was in that ALMA leukemia unit fighting for my life. I know I have all these angels on my shoulder. I know I do. There's no doubt in my mind. These people that have passed, I've been with these young, beautiful people. As Fukushima reigns over us, what's more un-American? What's more un-opportunity? What strips down everything that we founded this country for? We fought against the Queen, the return of King George. We fought against it. We fought against the exploitation of labor. The shirtwaist girls in 1911, when they jumped to their death, changed the world. They were locked in there. It is no different today. It is history repeating itself. They gave us minimum wage. They gave us time and a half. They gave us everything that made this country the great progressive, the great strongest middle class in the history of humanity. We were the aberration. America was different. We weren't, this is the fight between enlightenment and slavery. And it's been a fight, ebb and flow, the Civil War. We've always fought back. We've always had leaders fight back that's done it in a spiritual way. We have, look at our spiritual leaders now. Yeah, we have one, Megan Rice, and they're going to give her in the next day or two. She's probably going to get sentenced to life under the Unpatriot Act. This is about, I'm an ex-Wall Streeter. You know what I did? I hedged portfolios. Very sophisticated. Spent years, number one school business in the country. Hard, hard work. I grew up in the futures pits here in Ogden, Utah, in the cattle futures pits as a young boy. I grew up on this huge ranch. I knew how to work. I knew how to educate myself. It's the hijacking of Wall Street. The deregging. Computerized trades. I hedged portfolios for the Lung Association, for many associations. We did great work. 
We're gone. Everybody's gone. It's been hijacked by the freaking creep lion scum, just like the insurance industry. It's not, oh, derivatives are evil. No, it's the transparency of derivatives. The insurance industry. Is insurance industry evil? No, it's the people who kidnap the insurance industry that are evil. It's the same group of people. It's just like freaking the nuclear cabal. They're, it's the same mentality. It's not Illuminati. Yeah, it's bloodlines through, they give it to you through nuclear fraud. It's not the Illuminati. It's not these philosophies. This is the quintessential war between philosophies. The East India Company is the Walmart. And if we're not going to do this nationally, let's do it on state levels. Usury laws. Usury. Buy here, pay here. It's slavery. Jesus Christ threw the money changers out of the temple. These guys understood this. The Coast Guard was the very first thing we did. Blocking tariffs? Yeah. Economic tariffs we were blocking. Cheap goods from China in 1776. That's right. To empower our populace. To give us not only good job, but it's more than the economics. Yeah, you put, okay, say we put a 25-35% tariff on all this exploited junk that comes in from China. Do you think there's these companies, because there's nothing Chinese about them. There are American companies who just went, whoop, whoop, because they didn't want to protect our environment. They didn't want to pay fair wages as those girls jumped to their death. That's what it took then. It's those people. 30s, they're slaves, Foxcom. Apple is the problem. Apple is evil. Steve Chinese Jobs. Evil. Evil. The American publish you go for it. You fall for these fucking wedge issues. Now the capitulation to this also is 311. You can't fight these social movements that, you know, get mad, beat a drum, freaking high, pull out your fucking gun. Bullshit! You have to fight these with knowledge. I want ex-Wall Streeters. I, this isn't fringe elephant movement of mine. This is contemporary American movement. People who have lost their jobs. People who are struggling. People that freaking family are eating pills and going to sleep and dying. Remember when Quaaludes in the 70s were killing people when we were teenagers in high school? What did the government do? They stepped in and banned them. Did they ban Oxycontin? Fuck no. Because this is all these free market fairy tales. Alan Greenspan, the Ann Rander. Ann Rand never was an economist. She never claimed to be an economist. She was a counterculture. She grew up in Russia. She was a counterculture to her generation. She was a science fiction writer. How can you incorporate fucking... We have, this is how ignorant we are. We have Rand Paul. He, wow. These are your people you follow. You have ignorant fucks like fucking Paul Ryan who quotes her. She was an atheist, but she, was a, she never claimed to be an economist. This is, these are their simple tools. Tariffs. You know what that would do for the treasury? You know how much money a day? We would be out of debt like that. We could build responsible jobs. Gee, them evil fuckers, CNBC, that fucking, you know, I like, here's the quintessential CNBC all through the 90s. They all set up, the, Aaron Burnett, who's on CNN now, it's her, her partner. He sat up there and he would laugh at anything. Anything, you know, how fucking you fuckers say that fucking all this fucking obese food kills you, just shove it in his body, do everything. Oh, fuck, he scoffed, he scoffed. He stood up off that fucking chair one day and he was not very old and his heart blew up like a fucking nuclear bomb. They scoff. It's like you people that support nuclear energy. You think it's all funny because it can't, oh, I'm fucking here to tell you it's going to fucking happen. You're not going to, I can't, not, it's not a matter of when, or if, it's a matter of when. Okay, the marches that are going on the 14th, there's a bunch of pre-walks that are going around. In Eugene, Oregon, Lonnie Clark's organized. We're calling out these propaganda whores that work for the IA, like Kathleen Higley, Oregon State. So many different people, you know, as we organize. But the 28th in Manhattan, be very peaceful. We're not fighting police. We want the police on our side. The police aren't the ones who threw the tanks and the apparatus at them and empowered them. The political process fucking did that. And if you don't believe political process can make change, I will just simply say this, and this shirt for real is going to go into a museum for one day. As that day, June 6th, as we hit the beach, I did all those videos, we're going to hit the beach. I have a whistleblower from inside the NRC. She says, Kevin, oh, they're watching all your videos. They're watching your whole group. Gene Stone made these. You know how we shut down Sonics? People say, oh, it's the economics. If it was the economics, none of them would ever exist. It was a small, teeny group of us. Grass, hardcore root. We weren't Greenpeace. We weren't the Sarah Club. We weren't sucking up money. We were doing this. It worked just like they did it in Vermont. It worked. 
grass, but they did it in detail with knowledge and not a fringe element movement. This is a contemporary people that have been laid off, people that are freaking working for less amounts of money. The, the police, we want them on our side. The military industrialized complex, they come to your doors with tanks and freaking bombs and freak. That's the military industrialized complex that did this. That's not a cliche, it's very real. We want ex Wall Streeters, we want to take Wall Street back. From these creeps in the freaking computerized trades. 95% of them, it's all computerized trade. It's corruption. It's corruption. What is the hallmark of a third world country? This is we're turned into a third world country. So we are. The poverty in this country is growing. The real unemployment rate in this country is 35%. If we didn't have food stamps, we would have soup lines. This is the 30s all over again. And the man who raised me, the New Deal, the economist of the New Deal, the economist who created the New Deal raised me. We're going to go back to those ideas. I want contemporary Americans. We, we want ex-Wall Streeters. We want police. We, want, we just don't want the hairsprayed fakes. It's the Republican Party, the aggressive regressives. The Democrats, as I call them the butterflies, want to insult the butterflies. Stay in tuned.